People and Places, 1959, is a comprehensive anthropological work by Margaret Mead, an American cultural anthropologist known for her research in the South Pacific and Southeast Asia. In this book, Mead presents a detailed analysis of how environments shape human societies and how people, in turn, alter and adapt to these environments to create diverse cultures and communities. Beginning with an examination of the interplay between geography and culture, Mead outlines the ways in which different physical environments have influenced human development and social organization. She highlights the adaptability of humans, stressing that while the natural environment sets certain constraints, it is the cultural response to these constraints that defines the lives of the people living in any given area. Mead introduces her readers to a wide range of societies, from the small, isolated villages of the South Pacific Islands to the vast, interconnected cities of the modern West. She describes the importance of the village in traditional societies where kinship ties and communal responsibilities dominate, and compares this with the individualism and autonomy found in urban settings. The book delves into the concept of place, elaborating on how people form attachments to their surroundings, a process that is both shaped by and shapes their identity and worldview. Mead explores the significance of landmarks, homes, and sacred spaces, and how these are integrated into the social fabric of a community. The attachment to place, she argues, is fundamental to understanding a person's connection to their culture and heritage. Mead also addresses the impact of migration and displacement on communities, noting how the movement of people affects both the places they leave behind and the ones they move to. She illustrates the challenges and opportunities that come with such transitions, discussing how individuals and groups negotiate their identities in new environments. The book examines the role of technology and innovation in the transformation of the environment, both built and natural. Mead observes how technological advancements have expanded the reach of human societies, allowing them to alter landscapes and access resources in ways previously unimaginable. Yet, she also warns of the potential negative consequences of unchecked technological progress, stressing the importance of sustainable, thoughtful development. Education as a tool for understanding and navigating different environments is another theme Mead engages with. She reflects on the ways education can encourage a connection to one's surroundings and prepare individuals to participate meaningfully in their communities. Mead emphasizes the significance of teaching children about both their local contexts and the wider world, fostering a sense of global citizenship. Throughout the book, Mead touches on the complex interactions among cultures resulting from trade, war, and globalization. She illustrates how these interactions have historically led to cultural exchanges, assimilation, and sometimes conflict, and how they continue to shape people and places around the world. Mead concludes by urging readers to recognize and appreciate the rich diversity of human societies and the myriad ways people have found to live in harmony with their environments. She calls for an understanding and respect for different cultural approaches to life, advocating for a world where the variety of human experiences is not only acknowledged but celebrated. People and Places, 1959, serves as a testament to Margaret Mead's belief in the potential for anthropology to bridge differences and contribute to a more empathetic and interconnected world. Her insights remain valuable for those interested in the dynamic interplay between people and their environments, and the ongoing quest to understand the human experience in all its varied forms.